Nandito kami ngayon sa Queen Strawberry Farm sa Alfonso Camite. And naging trending, recently kasi naging trending to sa social media. Kaya, na-try na nyo. Pero ngayon, um, nasa soft opening pa sila. So, bagong-bago. Tapos, supposed to be meron silang service na strawberry picking. Pero, hindi pa siya, wala pa siyang bunga. So, hindi, hindi pa siya available ngayon. So, kung nakita nyo yung una namin video, is nakita nyo yung facade ng whole place, yung outdoor. So, pwede kayo mag-outdoor dining. Pwede rin sa taas. Pero ngayon, nandito kami sa indoor. Na, lahat may aircon. Tapos. Pero, bago kami mag-food review, ay, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Also, like our Facebook page at Ian and Karina and follow our Instagram account at Karina C. Ambat. And, kung gusto nyo mag-ipag-collab or you want us to do a vlog, please email at at icambat23 at gmail.com Nag-order na kami. Yung in-order namin is yung breakfast set. Tapos, yan, um, bangus. Meron kasi lang all-day breakfast. Then, for dessert, we're having barako coffee, strawberry milkshake, and strawberry cheesecake. Okay. So, mamaya, i-review natin ang kanilang food. era tayo ngayon is ganito nila iserve yung kanilang plate. So, naka clean wrap. So, very clean looking and well sanitized. So, hi! Nandito kami ulit. Tapos siya kami kumain. So, ang naging budget for two is around 1,000 pesos. So, may dalawa ng meal, uh, dalawang drinks, and yung desserts, which is yung strawberry cheesecake. Okay. Um, ngayon is, we are going to do our review. First is yung ambience. So, nakita nyo kanina yung sa video is maganda yung facade niya sa labas. Although, soft opening pa lang siya, kaya marami pang room for improvement. Kailangan pa nila magpa-paint kasi ang team nila is pink. And, Instagramable naman. Marami Instagramable features sa labas at sa loob. So, uh, overall ambience, maganda. Yes. Tapos, second is the service nila. Okay naman yung service. Madaming, madaming waiters na pwede nang tawagin. Very attentive sila. But, um, sa, sa observation namin is they need a little improvement. Para mas naging engaging sila. Dapat marunong silang mag-upsell. Yung hindi naman yung makulit na upsell. Yung tamang upselling lang. Saka mas okay, di ba? Kung laging nakamiti. Yeah. So, merong, meron kaming dalawang na 
encounter na smiling face, merong hindi masyado. So, mas maganda kung lahat sila ganun. Um, yung plates na ginamit nila and yung glasses sa milk, sa milkshake is cute. So, another point yun. Tsaka yung pag-serve nila nung dining plate is naka-clean wrap. So, magandang addition yun, lalo na ngayon na kailangan sanitize lahat. Next is yung portion size. Ano ba yun? Um, okay lang. Okay lang. <laughs> okay. Sa portion size, for the drinks, um, medyo naliitan kami kasi for the price, it's 100 plus. Tapos maliit yung glass. So, sana mas malaki siya para you get the quality over yung price na binabayaran nyo. Kasi medyo maliit siya. Masarap kasi nalalasahan nyo yung pagka-strawberry niya. Pero yun, portion size lang naman. Pwede ma-adjust pa. For the food, same as dun sa, sa, sa drinks is sa portion size. Uh, medyo mataas naman kasi yung price nila. So, mas okay sana kung mas madami or mas malaki yung magiging portion size na para sulit na sulit. Sa so, taste, when it comes to taste naman, okay naman yung taste although it still needs a little improvement. Siguro, kailangan pa nilang i-tweak like sa taste, sa overall taste. Sinari, um, sa sweetness ng milkshake, siyempre kami kasi sa preference namin, may sweet tooth kami. So, we found it matabang. Yes. Siguro, pwedeng gawin nila is, tanong nila yung customer, like sa milk tea, tanong nila yung customer, yung level of sweetness na gusto nila. Yes. Yun. Tapos, sa food, ganun din, needs a little improvement. Um, personal comment din namin is, yung kinain namin is the daing na bangos. Mas gusto sana namin kung boneless yung bangos. Or optional na may or bone, option. tapos or may boneless. Kasi meron gusto, may tinik. Yeah. Sa amin, ayaw namin na may tinik. So, yun. Pwede magbigay sila. Saka ka na pa? Konting marination pa for, I mean, marinated siya sa vinegar na may uh, um, garlic. garlic. Yeah. So, yun. Dapat magbigay sila ng wider range ng options para sa customers. Ngayon, kasi since soft openings pa sila, kaya marami pa silang time to improve bago silang mag- grand opening. Tapos, sunod is, um, another personal comment is, medyo uh, maamoy, naamoy sa dining area yung nilulutong food. Kasi dun sa pinakadulo ng room is nandun yung kitchen. So, op I guess open yung kitchen. Kaya, lumalabas yung amoy. Lalo na pag isig yung niluluto. Okay? Tapos, Ayun, sa, sa food again, going back sa food, like sa daing na bangus, usually pag yun yung sinaserve, di ba, automatic is meron ng vinegar. But nung, nung sinerve sa amin, so wala pang vinegar with garlic. So we needed to ask pa yung waiter. So dapat automatic na nakasama na yun. Pero so hindi naman lahat kasi preferred. Or dapat meron silang condiments na nilagay sa table. Same with sa pancakes, dapat merong condiments na lang ng syrup kasi we, we still ask for extra maple syrup. Ayun. So, overall, then, ano yung okay naman. That still needs an improvement for the food and the service. Yes. Ayun. But, kung nasa Tagaytay kayo, it's a 30-minute drive. It's a Monday today, so hindi siya ganun ka-traffic. It took us 30 minutes from Tagaytay Olivares to Alfonso para makarating dito. Malapit pa rin naman siya. Kung nasa Tagaytay kayo and you want to visit Queen's Strawberry Farm, is we do recommend na i-visit mo. No? Kasi it's, it's something new. And kasi ang strawberry farm, <coughs> pag namin yung strawberry farm, it's more on yung alala natin is Baguio. So, kung gusto nyo na-experience yung pagiging, na, yung strawberry farm near the metro, is try visiting Queen's Strawberry Farm. Try nyo. And kung maaari, visit kayo ng weekday para mas na-enjoy nyo. Kasi during the weekends is na, ang daming, madaming 
tao. Especially now, na bago pa lang to. Kaya, ayun. Tapos, ayun. So, hopefully, sa grand opening nila, we could see major changes for the better. At least, mas mag, marami pang maging patrons from Queen's Traveling Park. So, ayun. For now. So, for now, Sana nagustuhan nyo yung aming vlog and please give this video a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Like our Facebook page at Ian and Karina and follow our Instagram account at Karina C. Ambat. And if you want to email us, do a collaboration or you want us to vlog your business or anything, you can email us at icambat23 at gmail.com. So, thank you very much and until our next food vlog review. Thank you. Bye.